using the cooker. It's fairly straightforward. Everything operates from uh, this front panel here. If you want to put the oven on, then the dial here, you turn to fan and you'll see at the other side that um, there is a plus minus sign. It automatically comes on to 150. So you turn it, if you want to turn it up, you turn it and you can see the dial is moving. If you're in a hurry for the oven to heat up, you press that button there and you can see it's now flashing to heat up to 190. As you know, as soon as it reaches the desired temperature, it will beep and let you know that it's done that. Okay. If you want to use Circatherm, that's the one where um, it's fanning radiant heat from the grill. It's that button there. The double grill is the one with the sharp teeth there. That one automatically comes on to 300 degrees. Um, you may want to put it down from that, that's quite high. And with the grill, you can't, you see if I press that, you can't speed up the heating process. Coming back to the dial, half the grill is that picture there uh, of the single layer of teeth. Uh, this sign here is, uh, and you probably heard it's already reached 30 degrees, this is a defrost mode, you're not likely to want to use that, you'll probably use the, use the microwave. Um, the, sorry I have to change my hand here, this um, will give you just bottom heat, um, the top heat rather, and further round here these, this one will give you the old-fashioned kind of heat in the oven, top and bottom heat. That one's quite useful if you're doing things where you really don't want the fan on, things like baking, which you're probably not likely to do. The only other button that I think you need to be aware of is the one I'm not going to turn it to it, but it's this one here, this funny one here. That one is the one for the pyrotechnic oven cleaning. It puts it up to a super heat and um, it's quite expensive to run so I'm sort of fairly careful about how often I do that. So if you have um, a power cut, you um, press that button and you press this button once and twice and you can see that's flashing and that makes the clock button movable okay you see I've just adjusted it from 1044 to 1030 to 44 to 43 um, once it stops flashing then it's set similarly if you do want to use the oven timer it's the same thing press that once takes you to um, uh, notification to timing but as I said I've never used that I tend to just use the uh, little clock okay and that's all there is to it